Hey, what's up, fam? Well, it's uh, February 20th, Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, February 20th. It's my birthday. I turned 29 years old again today. And I um, want to catch you guys up. So today I'm going to try and uh, get, get this fairing as close as I can to uh, paint ready. Uh, um, no more fabricating to do. I've got one more. Uh, I've got to drive one more beam through here just to give this some structural support to this metal plate right here, and that's it. You can kind of see what the structure looks like. I'm sanding the front. I'm, I'm going to start on this side and kind of work my way around the front and get that knocked out today. Um, going to let the camera go. It's going to get kind of boring, but you know I'll speed it up. So look forward to talking to y'all in a little bit. <sighs> Hey guys, well, I finished sanding the outside and all that's left at this point is to get the inside, which is what uh, what you all can see. So a lot of this is already smoothed down, but I got to get it all like right here. Is, uh, so I've got to put the uh, belt sander on it, get this side smooth right here, run that one member through here to give this box support. And once that is done, it's a wrap and I can spray some paint on this and be done with this monster, but it's still loose around here. So I've just got a little bit of touch up to do on this. The fenders and everything else on the bike, there's nothing to do but paint them, so we'll just hang them up. I'm going to hang from the rafters up here. I've got some bailing wire somewhere around here I went and bought. And I'll hang them and I'm going to spray everything at one time. Um, I'm going to spray it the same color I did my first, uh, my first truck, first paint job I ever did back in uh, Colorado. So I'm going to paint this the same color. So. Uh, that's kind of the uh, update for today. Hope everybody's uh, doing well. And something that I just wanted to throw in there has been on my mind to say this is that when I started this project, I, I didn't know what this was going to look like. Uh, I'm going to put together kind of the whole this, uh, a series of pictures before I started doing the video. I had no idea what this thing was going to look like. I just know I wanted two speakers in it. And it's interesting how I met a guy over on uh, Cassett who gave me a lot of pointers on how to build this box, fiberglassing it inside and out, because I wouldn't have done that. Um, gave me some pointers on the acoustics and how speakers work, whether I should damp it, which means you put a hole in it so that as the speakers you know, vibrate in and out, there's somewhere for the air to go. Um, gave me a lot of pointers on that. I've never done fiberglass work before. But I got this fiberglass work done, went to YouTube, watched that. Um, uh, uh, I forget what it's Sailing Atticus. It's a YouTube channel called Sailing Atticus, and they did a they did a deck in the back, and I watched how they put that on. So I guess what I'm saying to those of you that are watching this is, is that you can do whatever you want to do. As a matter of fact, it's actually in the Bible. It's scriptural. Um, the Bible teaches us that God does not reward idle work, just sitting on your butt. In other words. Um, but what will happen is that as you try to do something or work in a direction, of course you pray about it, but he will raise up somebody along the way to use their power and their influence to help you. So if you don't go for it, you're never going to get there. So I just wanted to throw that in there. If I can sit here and do what I'm doing now, I think this is going to look halfway decent when it's done. I guarantee you one thing, it's going to look great to me but somebody else might look at it and critique it. And that's okay, because it's gonna be mine and it's what I want and I'm gonna achieve what I want with this bike. Um, little things, I only have it running yet, but uh, I'll get it running. I'll, all I have to do is uh, uh, put the, uh, I guess the tank back on and get some gas going to it and everything else. So anyway, um, I hope that uh, this has is, this is helped somebody. Um, I'm trying to, hook this back up I might edit this out actually but uh, I lost my connection with the camera so that's why I can't turn it off so who knows how we'll get this done but anyway um, thanks for tuning in it came back on lesson learned make sure your phone is charged
Well, good morning, fam. Here we are on a Sunday morning. Well, Sunday afternoon, I should say. And I am uh, just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed on what's going on as far as the, uh, the fairing is concerned. Had a rough, not a rough, but a good week at work. So I was not able to uh, do much on the bike. But uh, bike week's only three weeks away. So uh, I got to get cranking, y'all. I want to just kind of show you what I'm fooling with right now. Um, so let's take a look at the DIN receptacle which you can see right here but I'm going to try to get in pretty close on this and the reason I want to get in close is you can see how rough it is okay looks pretty bad as you look at that now the reason it looks so bad is because that's just Bondo. That has to be sanded down smooth. And that is part of what I'm going to work on today. So the other thing that's got to be done is if you notice on the gold wing here, it's kind of sitting there, got junk on it. Got to get it ready. Uh, it needs what's called an um, electronic control module uh, put in it. It snaps in, snaps out, just some uh, computer interfaces is all it is. The, uh, the bike idles really high. It idles at 3,000 RPM and it should idle less than 1,000. So I've got to figure out why it won't idle down. And something just keeps pulling it up. So it could be, I've never looked at it. It could be a bad spring or whatever. So needless to say, I'll be going to YouTube University to try to understand what the throttle linkage looks like on the fuel um, injection system right by the throttle body. That's the thingamajig that puts the gas into the motor on that gold one. So hang tight. I'm going to get started on this... Um, this fairing, try to sand it down. I'll bring you guys back in here in just a little bit. So what I'm doing now is just uh, putting on some new sandpaper. But one of the things that I'm going to do a little bit differently as I put this on is I need it to overlap. So usually when you put this stuff on, you put it straight on. I need to overlap a little bit. That way I can get up into this, uh, this curve that I'm trying to formulate. Not much, just a little. All right, y'all, trying to make some dust. I'll zip us through here because this is gonna be pretty boring to watch. So now what I want to do is give you a closer look to what just happened. So you see now the pits are still available. If we get real close to this thing, you can see those pits in there. But that's now what has to be filled. But I at least have the shape that I want around this thing now. You see a lot of pits right through there. But still, you can see that the basic shape of the the receptacle, the den receptacle, is uh, easily and readily visible right now. So this is what round one of sanding is going to do. So I'm going to mix up another small batch of the uh, Bondo and then go ahead and fill those in and let them dry. Okay, so I'm back. Now I am mixing the Bondo so that I can uh, try to fill in all these pits that are in this thing currently. I never, you know, this is my, my first time getting serious with this stuff, so I'm not sure what color it's supposed to be. I just remember the color uh, an old guy showed me years ago. So I'm just trying to copy that. Okay, so 
I'm going to show you in a second what this looks like now. My uh, <laughs> Bondo is getting hard now because I let it I let it sit too hard or I'm putting too much hardener in it. I don't know. But I think I did right because the uh, can is almost empty and the hardener is almost gone. So I think I got the mixture right. But thank goodness this stuff is cheap. It's only like $6 a can. So if I mess up, it's really not that big a deal. These little plastic uh, spatula things. I try to get as much use out of them as I can. But they're cheap too. I don't even think this was a dollar. But every penny counts when you're doing a project like this. All right. So, hang these back up. Now I'm going to let you take a closer look at the uh, what the receptacle looks like. So you can see now, as you look at it, that it simply is smoother, and a lot of those pits have been filled in. So now that those pits are filled in, when I come back here in a few hours to sand this, hopefully I'll get a much smoother effect. I'll probably um, go ahead and put a coat of primer on it this time because now it's at a point where, ooh, that shadow's bad. That's what happens when you're an amateur at this. So there you have that. So just to uh, give you an idea of what I'm trying to do and why. So this is the actual, okay, where are we at here? This is the actual stereo system that's going to actually go into that den. So when it's in there, it should just slide in. And when it's done, It'll look something like this. I'm scared to go in all the way. I guess it's not going to matter. All right, so now you can kind of get an idea of what this is all about. This is the um, end result. Well, it's not the end result, but it's going to be what this is all about. You'll have the stereo system that will sit in that receptacle right there. And that's what this whole thing is going to be, is about. So you can see I've got some filling to do and details to take care of but when it's all said and done this thing is actually starting to come together hey so I thought I'd just kind of give you a sneak peek of what the whole thing is going to look like so obviously stereo system is going to be uh, the control you had will will be right here the subwoofers right as you see them right there the speedometer is going to go somewhere in that area Right here on these flat surfaces, there's one here and there's one here, will probably be super tweeters. And then this flat surface right here will be um, switches to control all the lights because you know I've got to be a little bit fabulous when I step out. So that's just kind of an idea of what this whole thing, when it's done, is going to look like. So take a good look. We're getting there slowly but surely and as you know all of that sits right here on the bike.